the Psalms, the 46th chapter. Psalms 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts, is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. For the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Somebody say, thank God for his word. No need to fear, faint, or fret, because God is our refuge. We need not fear. Why? Because he's available. He's accessible, and he's sufficient. God's people go through trouble. Amen. Sometimes it's because we've been disobedient. Sometimes it's because we've been obedient. Sometimes it's because we need uh, to know that God is our helper and is our strength, that we can't depend on the arm of flesh. We don't depend on self, but our eyes must be on him. Have you fled to your refuge? Hide in him to gain the strength and grace you need to go back to and face your responsibilities. If fear overtakes you, you can't function. That's why we have the privilege of going to him. All through the word of God, we see scriptures on fear not, fear not, be not afraid, fear not, fear not. I am with you. I am with you. I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee of all thy diseases. I am with you. And as many times as we have read it, as many times as we have heard it, sometimes we lose sight of that fact when trouble hits us. And this world is troubled, and it's going to get, I, I don't mean to be a bearer of bad news, but America has been in the lap of luxury while other nations have been suffering and going through and suddenly when we've been hit with something everybody gets fearful but the people of God ought to be able to read the signs of the times and to know that when these things come 
we are still resting in God Almighty. We depend upon him. We look to him. Our eyes are on him. And the Lord wants to use you in times like this to be a blessing to your neighbors who are troubled. They're running and buying like it's the last day of Armageddon. But my God, my God, we've got to have a stillness in our spirit. We've got to have peace in our souls that what God says that he's going to be exalted among the heathen and he's going to be exalted in the earth. My God, my God. And we've got to be able to walk in him and to live in him and stand in him and rest in him. Everything that comes to steal from us, to kill us, and to destroy us comes from the enemy. And the enemy wants us to be defeated. He wants us to run to and fro. He wants to shut down every place of worship. He wants to shut down places where souls are being saved, where the sick are being healed. He wants to cause confusion and keep the people of God divided from getting together in two or three in one accord. He wants to do that. He's probably smiling and happy, saying, I got him now. I got him now. But bless God when you know him, when you know God Almighty, you rest in him. You stand in him in the midst of trials and tribulations and tests and whatever is thrown at this world. We rest in God Almighty. Somebody shout hallelujah. And if... And this is, this is also a sign to the believers that we've got to pray and seek the face of Almighty God. It's a sign to the people of God to seek him, to seek him, to call on him, to cry out to the Lord our God. Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. And we who know him have got to stand in him. God is our strength, so we need not faint. We go from the turbulent sea in verse 2 to a quiet river in verse 4. Jerusalem was not established uh, beside a river. And to compensate it, Hezekiah built an underground water system that brought water into the city and similarly we must live on hidden resources we can't depend on the world around us or other people when you trust jesus as your savior god puts an artesian well one that uh, doesn't require pumping because water comes to the surface of the ground by way of a spring of water. And you've got to remember that you've got in you a spring of water. The Holy Spirit that is able to guide you and to lead you and to comfort you. And when you feel that spirit of fear trying to attack your mind and trying to attack your life and everything that we are hearing and seeing that is going on, you've got the Holy Spirit in you that is able to bring life to your inner man. How, Brother Pastor, you're going to learn how to praise him by yourself. When we can't get together as the people of God, when, when churches have been shut down and we can't gather, when people can't turn on the TV and look at live streaming and, and look at service, you've got to have a well of water within you springing up into everlasting life that you know how to stir up yourself in the Lord your God. You know how to stir up the gift that is within you, the Holy Ghost that is within you, and you've got to look to him. You've got to learn how to praise him when it ain't nobody else around. You in your house all by yourself, nobody there with you, turn it into a sanctuary. 
turn it into a place of praise. Chase every spirit of fear that's in there out of there. Everything that the devil has whispered to you, you move it out with your spirit of praise. With the spirit of God in you, you can turn it into a sanctuary. Hey! Hallelujah to G. You can praise him and you ain't got a Hammond B3. You can praise him and you ain't got no drums. You can praise him and ain't got a tambourine. But you've got the power of God down on the inside of you to revive you and to lift you and to know that no matter what comes your way, God is going to be with you. He's going to provide for you. He's going to protect you. He's going to shield you. He's Stand on your feet and declare no weapon, no weapon, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. God didn't bring you this far for a disease to take you out of here. God didn't do what he's done in your life for sickness to take you out of here. At this point, you've still got journey years ahead of you. You've still got time ahead of you. God's not through with you yet going to use you. He's going to anoint you. He's going to bless you. He's going to open doors for you. He's going to make ways for you. You're going to bless, bless others by what you say and by how you live. They'll knock on your door and say, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me, Sister Mary. Pray for me, Brother Jones. I need help. Stand on your feet and pray. Open that mouth and praise him. Open that mouth and praise him. Open that mouth and praise him. Hey, glory to God. Open that mouth and bless him. Hallelujah to Jesus. 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 Hey, we thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, that you're getting the world's attention, that many souls will be saved through this. Many souls will come to Jesus around the world through this. In the name of Jesus, doctors and nurses in the hospitals are holding hands, praying, saying, we need Jesus. We need the presence of God to help us in this hour. We need Jesus. We need the Lord. Praise him. Open your mouth and bless him. Open your mouth and bless him. Open your mouth and praise him. Declare with your mouth, declare with your spirit, everything's going to be all right. Hey, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. We praise you. We lift you. We magnify you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Now stand on your feet and lift your hands. Spirit of the living God, let your blood, let your blood, let the precious blood of Jesus, let the precious blood of Jesus cover every child of God in this house. In the mighty name of the Lord, oh God, in the name of Jesus, cover us and protect us from this disease, from this virus and every other virus that would come this way. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, cover us, cover us, cover our family, 
families. Cover our children in the name of Jesus. Cover this church in the mighty name of the Lord. Let the blood of Jesus prevail over every piece of property in the name of Deliverance Evangelistic Church. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. We magnify you. We exalt you. We adore you for it. Now everybody open your mouth and bless him today. Open your mouth and praise him. If you don't know him, you haven't received him, you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, come to the altar. If you're saved, lift those hands, let me see you. If you can't lift that hand in the assurance of your salvation, make your way to this altar. Oh, we bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Put those hands together and give the Lord a clap offering all over this house.